Okay, there's also the Rainbow Six Siege uh, spring weekend this weekend, starting tomorrow. Going oh, I got, a, I, got a, I got a question about Rainbow. Okay, is the season two sixty dollars or how much is the season pass for that? Um, I think it's forty bucks. Okay, because um, but everything be, everything will be fifty percent off this weekend. Every game. No, every, I mean, the, um, as far as Rainbow Six goes, all the maps and all that stuff will be 50% off this weekend because they're having a sale to go along with the free weekend. Oh, so... They're trying to, you know, bolster the fact that they have Season 2, so they're letting everybody play the game, and then everything will also be 50% off this weekend. Oh, Season of so Season if you're one. looking to get in the Rainbow Six Seeds, this is a good weekend to do it because everything will be 50% off. Yeah, of, of, of season one, though. No, all operators. All operators, all maps. Okay. Um, oh, all, like all, all content. All the content will be um, 50% off during the weekend, but you can use all of it for free this weekend. Yeah, but if it only, you're talking about only season one stuff, right? No. Season two, well, the stuff that's not out, you can't use, obviously, but yeah. the two stuff that's out, you'll. It'll be fifty percent off this weekend, also. Okay, because I was thinking about like just getting the season pass. If that junk will be fifty percent off, I buy that junk. <laughs> yeah, so that'll that'll that runs from the second to the fifth. Okay, it works. Okay. Hey, you like Rainbow Six Siege, uh, Pixel? No, but a lot of my subscribers do on Xbox, and they yeah. want me get it. On, they want me get it on Xbox, and then I don't want to get it on Xbox. I got it on PlayStation. It ain't a game I'll buy twice. Let me say this about you and buying games twice. That's a little bit sad. Just saying. Like if I buy a game twice, I'll buy buy I'll buy Overwatch twice to play with y'all, but I ain't gonna nah. If I'm gonna buy a game twice, I'm getting it on the PlayStation. <laughs> Not that. You're gonna buy it let me say this. At the end of the day, those were news that I didn't write down. Thank you guys for throwing that in there. Uh, there's there's a few other things. What there's uh NBA Live 18. EA said they're making it, but it it's gonna it got delayed, so it's gonna be coming out, or they're gonna put out 19 or 18 this year near the end of the year. It's not gonna be the same time as live. So all you NBA heads who can't stand NBA 2K, you'll have an option. Whether or not that option will be good oh. or not, completely debatable. Oh, because the last NBA Live was garbage, but no we'll good. See. At least there'll be competition. Competition is never a bad thing. Never a bad thing. Um, what else? Uh, tomorrow, Thursday, um, February 2nd, uh, they're going to unveil another um, Injustice 2 character. So a, a new character added to the roster. They're going to unveil that tomorrow, uh, Thursday, or I, I keep saying tomorrow, but Thursday, February 2nd, they'll unveil that. So if you're watching this after February 2nd, that person will already be revealed. If you're listening to this on the day, just know that February 2nd, they will reveal a new Injustice character. Awesome. Uh, what else? BioWare has uh, put out a little bit of uh, a screenshot for um, the Mass Effect character. Uh, it was the guy in the trailers. He's uh, the, the black guy with the... Dreads, his name is Liam Costa, and they put out a, a little screenshot of um, his backstory and his uh, abilities, um, and they're going to start trickling out information like this over the next few months for each character, Very so you can get to know the characters as time goes on. Um, I don't, no one probably knows this, but a Dynasty Warriors game came out yesterday. Oh! Nope, I didn't know. <laughs> yeah, um... Uh, it it can it's for PS4 and PS Vita. It's called Dynasty Warriors God Seekers. Um, it's a Dynasty Warriors tactical game. Interesting. I don't know how I feel about that. I haven't played it, so I can't speak on it one way or the other. But it came out yesterday, and nobody knew. Nobody knew. What was sad? It's, it's very sad. What <laughs> 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 this game came out at all? Like. There was no, no hype for it, nothing. No one knew this game came out in the slightest. But, uh, Namco, uh, Bandai Namco has put out a 
making of Tekken 7 video. Yes. Uh, and it shows um, a lot of the character creation and the um, new uh, a f- couple of new movement systems and fighting systems. Uh, it's, it's pretty good. Like a seven minute video or something like that. Uh, you can find that on YouTube at any point in time. Just search Tekken 7 making. Um, no, hey, hey, I just, I, I forgot this point that I had written in the gaming news. I freaking have it right there, and I just passed over it like crazy. It's GTA news, GTA 5. The, uh, just real quickly, the ability to transfer your characters and progress from the last-gen versions of Grand Theft Auto Online will cease on March 6th, 2017. So if you guys are still on last-gen and you want to jump over to next-gen, with the transfer, it will it will cease the ability to do it. I'm gonna I'm go ahead and say it. I'm gonna go ahead and say it. If you broke, all right, you got an excuse. But if you got money, go get that next generation console. Stop playing these games. You right. It's time to let it go. Let it go, man. Time to let it go. Should I put the? Like um, I said, this, this is why I said physical games is useless because in ten more years, you're not gonna play the same games you played on that 360. Mm. Keep moving up. And that's why digital games is the way of the future. It's a little bit sad. But all I'm saying is, like, I, I did that with my GTA copy, and the, the ability to transfer the characters will cease. Is is that more hint than than anything that GTA Online or GTA 5's online portion is? Okay, look, we, we know they've been adding content in, and a lot of people has been saying that they're not going to anymore. Uh, but is this right here stopping the transfer? Is it because they just like trying to save a dollar or something? Or is they're trying to move away from GTA Online? Is Rockstar trying to move away from GTA Online? The thing makes them so much money. Uh, uh, like what, what? No, no, no. I think this is. I think this is a sign that GTA Six is coming. I, we and all know they that. need all the resources they can get to work on this game. Because mm. what's the point of bringing a character over the the next generation console if you're already working on GTA 6. That means when GTA 6 come out, they still have to worry about that. If they might as well edit now. Nobody's going to complain. And most people who got GTA is what? Playing on Next Generation anyway. It's, it's not that much that 360 can hold. They drop a 50 gig update, what they going to do? <laughs> yeah, all I'm saying is, Masley, do you think Rockstar is, moving, is eventually going to move away from GTA Online? Is GTA Online... Ne- is it gonna die eventually? Where like servers yeah. cut off and everything? Nah. Uh, I think they'll stop hosting it. They'll start giving um, the ability for people to make um, private hosted servers, uh, like um, Wow did with their legacy servers. So I think they'll they'll go on that route. But I think as they move on to new games, they'll adjust their servers for those new games. Hmm. Do you think that I think Go ahead I think it's going to be like this 360 Xbox and 360 and PS3 are going to be done I think when GTA 6 come out We're going to have a GTA 6 online And then I see about 5 years later They're going to do what Masculine just said They're going to let you host your own Because I don't know it just doesn't feel right Keeping If you know more majority of your people is on new generation consoles And you know they're on a the new game they're not going to want to go back. Like, when GTA 6 comes back, I'm never probably going to play GTA 5. There's no point. Man, all I'm saying is GTA 5 is an amazing game, and also GTA Online is such an amazing game, which is giving them so much money. I I don't know, man. Like when you like, it's definitely gonna go to Rob Maslin and saying, you know, have your have us host the servers eventually. Yeah. But for them to just walk away from a cash cow, that's. You, I can't wrap my head around big businesses doing that. You know what I mean? Yeah, but that they get rid of 360. They're not, and they're not gonna get rid of PS4 and I, Xbox One. I know. Probably like 15 years down the line. But their new game is gonna be their main focus. So I don't. I feel like GTA Online is gonna be always there, just in a different game. Okay. Well, okay. I think like we might get Red De- Red Dead Online. I'm pretty sure we're gonna get that. Come on. Definitely. Definitely. Well, look. Write in the comment section about any of these gaming news stories. Touch your fancy. Uh, I got more. Say it again. I got more. You got more? I got more. Yeah, yeah I got right. more. One, 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 one more, one more. You know shark cards, right? I'm calling this now. When Red Dead Online come out, we're going to get wild cards. Wild cards? Wild cards. Mm. <laughs> That's a good All name. Right. That's probably true. 
But Master, right. you said you uh, got some I'm more news. Rest the rest of this gaming news real fast. Okay, go ahead. Uh, Gears of War four, um, cross play multiplayer, um, for competitive is is now a thing. So if you're in if you on PC or Xbox One, you can play with the Xbox One or PC counterparts in multiplayer. Uh, that's back in a minute, which is fantastic. Um, what else? Um, that's gonna be a, a uh, horrific Twitch Twitch stream, just killing point and click headshots it, all day long. Yeah, it is what it is. Uh, what else? Uh, well, <laughs> here's the war. I play. I play even though I'm a PC. I play with a controller because it's just it's designed for a controller. Like that game is designed for a controller. Uh, what else? Um, Hitman. If you bought the complete edition, they gave you a free. You get a free bonus mission. It's called Landslide. Uh, it dropped um, on the 31st. Um, oh, okay. So uh, Dead Rising 4, um, they got Street Fighter skins. So you can dress up Frank West as Zangief, Cammy, or Guile. And those are free. And they dropped on the 30th. Yeah, but um, Street Fighter is exclusive. How is that, how is that even possible? Because... Square Enix or Capcom owns Street Fighter and they also own Dead Rising. Yeah, but they say Street Fighter was okay. Okay, not mine. Okay. It's just skin. Like, it's not Street Fighter yeah. itself. It's, it was the same thing when they did the um the Mega Ultra EX Super whatever Dead yeah. Rising. <laughs> it's the same thing. Uh, what else? Um, the tech tier for Art came out, which That's I'm so old. I think they say nothing. <laughs> oh, because uh, I didn't want to come to Xbox. I ain't even trying to touch it. I ain't even trying to touch it. That's all PC. It's a, it's a, we, we gave news across the board. Um, they're making a limited edition near Automata uh, PS4. Um, so if you're very interested in that game, you're interested in a limited edition PS4, they have one for you. It's just like all other limited edition PS4s. It's a base PS4. It's black. It has decals on it that go with near Automata. Um, oh. what else? Uh, Resident Evil 7, the first DLC for Resident Evil 7 drops the 21st, I believe, of this month. Uh, so if you, it's called, uh, Band Footage. So if you like Resident Evil 7, which it is, it is a good game. It's, it, it goes back to the, its old school roots. If you like that, the first DLC for that drops on February 21st. Um, for the first, volume one is nine ninety nine, band footage and band footage volume two is fourteen ninety nine. Interesting. Uh, it dropped actually it dropped on the fourteenth for PS four and the twenty first for Xbox One and PC. Mm. What else? There's new footage all around the internet of Horizon Zero Dawn. Let's um, go. That collector you know. Hey, don't right. you say nothing. I don't want no spoilers on that, G. It's probably the game. It's probably the game. The first game that would take uh, advantage of the PS4 Pro's power as best as it can. Um, so look out for footage of that. Um, Be careful about footage of that. Oh, I got something to say to Gorilla real quick. Gorilla, if you fuck this up. It's Thanks one thing if Killzone sucks. It's another thing when somebody spent over a hundred dollars on a game and it sucks. I never buy another Gorilla game ever, ever again. I don't care how good it is. Well, all I gotta say about that is, just be careful. Just be careful. But yep. Masslin, is that all she wrote? Uh, and I think that's everything. Of course, if we Wait. were to go... Hold on, hold on. He forgot one more thing. I'm going to go ahead and say Conan Exile is amazing. I, I was late. I, I, I purposely left it out. Just it is it. amazing. <laughs> and I'm going to say it right now. If nobody um, wins my giveaway masking, you can have the code. I'm just throwing that out there. Right. But I already, I already hinted the giveaway before I even remembered you. And I was like, shoot. I could have just, <laughs> just said it. So, it's all good. <laughs> This ain't. But um, Conan coming to Xbox in spring. That's going to be amazing. And then, uh, yeah, that's it. Only game we're getting this year is Horizon and Conan on Xbox. Yeah, right. Watch when you see that um that Niho. Oh, I'm just playing. Oh, nah. Stuff. I seen that. I seen that. Ain't nothing else oh. coming out this year. 
and Destiny too. That, that's see, that's, see, you just broke different. your whole. That's different. Oh, that's watch, different. watch when that um, State of K two come out and that Crackdown three. What you gonna say then? That'll come out this year. <laughs> they better come out that this year. Those games need to come out this year. Mm-hmm, don't come out this year. All right, then, whatever you say, sir. But that is all she wrote for gaming news. Please write in the comment section any of these stories. Strike your fancy. Tell us all your thoughts down below. But that has been the second part of Gaming Talk 25. We're moving to our next segment. And before hit that we, like button. Oh, yeah, hit, hit that like button. But before we do that, Pixel, I don't know if you're going to be for the next segment. So tell the people where they can find you and say bye to the people. You can, you can find me in the heavens with all the gods. Um, That's no good, I'm guys. Claire Pixels, the king of games, Ejected the gamer podcast. of gamers. Prince is so scared, like I said in the beginning, that he didn't even show up to this game and talk. And if he got something to say in the, in the second part, let me know. And then he come at me. I'm going <laughs> to kill him in art. I'm going to kill him in Last of Us. I'm going to kill him in Uncharted. And That's... you know what? I don't even care. I'll buy another game and kill him in Rainbow. He got Rainbow? Yeah, he do. I'm killing him in Rainbow. This is that's all I gotta say. I'm done. Oh yeah, this is Pixels coming at you strong. Um, <laughs> I was gonna say raw. <laughs> that's it. That's it. Well, yeah, his yep. his all our, all my boys. Link will be in the description. Support them there. But we are moving to the next part of Gaming Talk 25. Stay tuned. Quickly, Maslin, what do you think about Destiny 2 being Cabal themed? And remember, this is all from the. The, the Amazon toys for Destiny 2? Uh, I think that Destiny 2 needs to have a story. I don't care if it's about the Cabal, if it's about the Hive, if it's, if it's about um, the Fallen, as long as it has an actual story that doesn't suck. Oh. It doesn't consist of 15 Horde missions. Oh no! I'm good to go. 